It's Ken Fry, and I'm the assistant director at Scoble Zoo. We're, I mean, we're proud of the zoo, and we are a little zoo, but we're a good zoo, and, and um, we're always striving to make it you know, better each year, and, and I think once you make it better, people want it to be a little better the following year, too, and so you're always striving to, to meet their expectations and, and, uh, and hear those good comments and good feedback. If you go off that direction, well, it's like a South American area with uh, spider monkeys and uh, little tamarind monkeys. And the center park has uh, alligators and uh, prairie dogs and meerkats. And then, of course, we still have the Scoville Farm area on this side where we can go see the cows and pigs and goats and chickens. And, and then we have camels and zebras and cheetahs kind of out back. And then, then a herp aquarium up there with uh, about 30 species of reptiles. and kind of behind me here is the old part, the original part of the zoo that was built in 1967. And this is kind of the part that we're renovating most recently. And at the far end there, you can see where we're adding our penguin house. And so we should have penguins later this year at some point. So they're, they're just finishing up the building and making sure all the water systems work. And so we're getting Humboldt penguins, um, which come from the coast of Chile and Peru. And, and they swim in water 58 to 60 degrees, and so we, our pool will be chilled to, to that temperature. So yeah, you want to kind of meet what they would find in, in their habitat, and the building and the rock work was all kind of designed after the rock work along the, the coast of Peru, so it even kind of has that look and feel to it, and so penguins there would be hopping up on rocks and going on the cliffs to make their nests, and so that's kind of what they, we built here to kind of symbol, symbolically give them what they have in, in the wild as well. Uh, but yeah, there, when you look in the, inside the building, there's all these water pumps and ozone to kind of help with the algae and, and the coolers and the heaters. And, and uh, so there's a lot more that goes into it than just you know, digging a hole, filling it with water and, and putting penguins in it. So we, we are an accredited zoo like San Diego, like Brookfield, like St. Louis, and, and we're meeting the same standards of animal health care that those zoos have to meet as well. And so um, it's just kind of a little stamp of approval you know, on our front door that says we're an AZA member that says that we do take pride in our animal care here at the zoo. You want to, I guess, entertain as well as teach. And there, there's a line there we want to you know, not try to cross too much, but uh, yeah, we do want to educate people and teach them about the animals. And I think the more they care about the animals, uh, the more they'll care about wanting to save them out in the, in the wild.